This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Well, little Dirk and NBA Youngboy are going at it now. They're turning this up for some reason. NBA Youngboy is on uh, re- supervised release in Colorado and turning up a beef. Okay, so O Block reacts, of course. They're already shooting a video out there, lighting, you know, NBA Youngboy stuff in the flames. And they're not feeling it. And here's the problem with this, right? So you got NBA young boy dissing King Von. And in turn, that that's like dissing Lil Dark, right? Because they're the same, right? He says, uh, this is Squid Game, Old Block. Pack gets rolled up. Uh, murder what they, uh, they told us. Atlanta boy fold up. Then he says, uh, get your hoes up. Then, uh, bitch, throw up grief. Anyways. <clears throat> You know who really suffers from this stuff? The people that are outside the camp, you know, the the people around NBA Youngboy that are out there, the people around Little Dirk that are out there, they run into each other and they escalate things, right? They take it more seriously than the rappers do. And then you get things like, like, look, look what happened with King Von, right? That was an extension of kind of what, of NBA Youngboy because... Right before that, see, King Von was with, you know, we know he was associated with uh, Asian Doll. And, that you know, they were together and they were having a break. They're having problems. And <clears throat> she was down there with them, be a young boy. And a snippet was, I'm not saying she was messing with him, but he dissed King Von a little bit and some snippet there. And then Quando uh, Rondo kind of escalated it from there, you know, like it. it that's kind of like what happened. I mean, I know there's more to it than that. If you know, I'm sure the the forensic, you know, YouTube uh, analytic <laughs> NBA young boy King Von supporter can, uh, you know, dissect that even more than I can. But I'm just saying that's where it kind of stemmed from. And it wasn't even direct. You know, it, it, it's, just, it's just crazy, man. So, uh yeah, that's it's just crazy, man. So little Dirk said, "Don't claim it uh, if you didn't do it." And then he calls him a bitch, right? So it was, you know, people are gonna take that to another level. Now, let's move on from that. MGK gets engaged to Megan Fox, right? They said they drank each other's blood afterwards, right? Here's the thing: I don't know if I would get engaged to somebody that I, I that left another man to be with me. I would think the same thing's going to happen. You know, it's possible that the same thing could happen to you, too. Right? You're not immune to it. Anyways, congrats to them. But then we got Kanye West. little spooky event here. You got Madonna, Kanye, his new girlfriend, Julia, or whatever her name is. Antonio Brown, Floyd Mayweather. Look how spooky this looks. They're just chilling on a couch with lights. Madonna reaches down, and they're listening to Drake. She hugs this girl. Spooky celebrity stuff, man. Over 3 million views in a day on uh, Power Book 5, 4, which is uh, the Joe, I mean, I'm sorry, the um, Tommy version of, you know, where he splits off. I think he goes to Chicago or something. That one looks really good, man. I can't wait for that to drop. You know, it's kind of funny because, like, I think all these things are going to intertwine eventually. Uh, we'll see what goes on with that. Shine also talks about his 50 Cent beef back in the day. 50 tried to sign up to G-Unit when he was locked up. Um, he says, I don't talk to kids. My life is too serious for that. Shine told the radio. I'm minding my own business, man. I'm trying to make music. You dig? When I was out, I was selling records. He wasn't out yet. So what? Uh, I mean, but it, Shine, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to current. What, this is from 2011. Um, when I went in the can, as far as I know, he was talking about, I'm a shoot up the club like Shine. And he was throwing it up. He knew uh, what it, he knew what it was hidden for. I'm questionable. I'm, I'm unquestionable in the streets. He was trying to get me signed to G-Unit, and I wasn't finna do that. I was finna sign uh, Murder, Inc. I wasn't finna sign a Death Row either. When was this? I'd like to speak to Shine. Said fifth while recording a session from the office decks. My name is Sean. Radio one. Okay. 
Anyways. Yeah. Yeah, then he did that. Oh, yeah, then Shine said, I didn't know he was that desperate. He'd gone from confidential informant to witness protection program. Dude, getting order of protection on people, blah, blah, blah. Well, he changed his tune now that he's a representative in Belize. He said, you know, I just want to toast to 50 Cent. Da, da, da. I, don't, I was thinking 50 Cent might <laughs> post that up. I don't think after he called him a confidential informant and everything, I don't think 50 Cent will respond. I mean, there's a whole back and forth there that happened. Um, this hap Yeah, this is in 2011. Anyways, Shine tried to clear the air on that. Uh, I don't know. And then he said, you know, toast to 50 Cent for, like, you know, keeping it going. I don't know, man. We will see. Anyways, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I'll check you guys in the next one.